Hi friends, welcome to PLSQL video tutorials. This session I am going to explain about a returning class in PLSQL. So when you are doing a data manipulation language like if you are working some uh, huge data processing in our project, then if you are looking at, uh, if you are inserting some data and same data, if you want to fetch and you want to do some data validations and if you want to do some other operations with the same data, so what you have to do after the inserting data again you have to write select query and then you, you have to store into somewhere and you, you need to do that operation so instead of fetching multiple times what we can do we can use a returning class in PLSQL while doing HTML operations like insert or update or delete so here you can look at this example what I am doing here I am inserting some data into my table called the college table it is a college number and a college name after inserting your command you can use a returning keyword then select your columns whichever uh, you require like you are going to use for reference or store into some other table okay maybe specific to editing or something for example you are deleting some data that data you are storing into some other archive table or log table so you need to select those columns here then you need to use the into class so same thing uh, PLSQL will when you are selecting data from SQL query data you will be using into class so here also returning instead of select we will be using returning keyword then identify the columns which are the columns you are required uh, are going to use for those columns you can select here and use the into keyword and you can give a variable or a record type or collection whichever you are going to use that store that those that data for your processing you can use this so returning column names into then your variable or record type or collection same same thing I am going to insert the three records here then I am returning those three records into variables I am printing those variables then I am committing this again I am deleting data in this table only one ID that is one number I am deleting that data also I want to return here so I am giving example for both insert and delete this is the reason I gave here delete as well so while deleting I am taking that whatever I am deleting that I am taking that number and name from this table and returning into this uh, row type you can see the row type variable then I am printing this let's run this now you can see there are first three records have been inserted in the delete you can see here 11th we have deleted and the name also you can see so this is the way we can go for using a returning keyword or returning class in PLC. So whatever you are doing the insert or update or delete those data if you want to take and if you want to store somewhere so that time you can go for a returning class in PLC. So end of your statement you have to use a returning keyword and specify your columns data columns what other columns you are required uh, columns you can specify here specify the in, uh, into keyword then specify your variables or a record type or collections whichever you have created whichever you are going to so thank you for watching my videos same thing uh, returning uh, you can use for bulk collect as well so when you are doing a for all bulk binding so for all bulk binding insert or delete all whatever data you are using there that also we can retrieve those data and we can use from other uh, processing so normally if you are working with any front end applications like java dot net or any applications so you will require this type of uh, returning uh, data to validate those data uh, maybe depending on your requirement so please uh, go through my video uh, on bulk collect for all bulk binding returning class so thank you for watching my video so please subscribe my channel to get more videos and update my channel thank you very much